Good morning guys, oh, welcome back to another video. I know I look a little bit crazy today. I'll show you underneath the hat in a second. Um, yeah, today I wanna to show you every single thing. I'm eating starch solution, low calorie density style. This is the way that I've eaten to lose 60 pounds over the last three years. Um, and it's the way I still eat to maintain my weight loss um, and hopefully to build a little bit of muscle. I'm sorry that I haven't filmed in the last week or so. It feels really weird not to have filmed, but basically I'll tell you what happened. It was a bit of a kerfuffle. So I filmed a couple of videos didn't have time to edit them and then I went on holiday for a week and then I was going to film whilst I was away but I hadn't actually edited the videos that I'd previously filmed and therefore it just all got too much for me and I was just a bit like ah um so I ended up not filming anything and not posting anything at all and I'm sorry about that because it would have been a cool thing to kind of you know post what I was eating whilst on holiday but um anyway I went on holiday with my um in-laws and we had such a fantastic time we went to center parks which is like a massive kind of UK holiday place um, but like super fancy really nice and there was also Christmassy themed stuff so the kids loved it they got to see Santa and all of those things um, so yeah so we really had a lovely time actually it also was nice to take a little break from too much filming for a while um, because I feel like when you film almost every single day um, I mean it's, it's it's amazing and I love this and I can't believe how lucky I am to do this for my job it just blows my mind but it is also nice to take a little bit of time um, where I'm not filming and I'm just a, obviously a bit more present um, with my family and yeah, just kind of enjoying in the moment kind of stuff. So anyway, so that was really nice actually, but we're back now and uh, my um, my sister-in-law did my hair. She, <laughs> oh wow, look at that. Yeah, so she did really tight French braids in my hair and I've had it in for the last few days. And then I took it out this morning and this, this is the result. Like I'm kind of a bit scared about myself, but I'm also kind of loving it at the same time. But, I don't, but I've got a massive like flat patch here, obviously. Um, so we're going to be wearing a hat today. And also because it's chilly, that is gonna be very nice. But yes, anyway, if you um, didn't want to hear all the blah, 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 I apologize. We're gonna get into some food um, and I'll show you what I'm eating today. It is a Saturday in our house and it is a day on the go. So it's gonna be kind of busy, but I am gonna be making loads and loads of good um, Indian food this evening, uh, which is gonna be some recipe testing for my Indian weight loss vegan cookbook, uh, which will hopefully be coming out in like a month. So I'm super excited about that. But yeah, we are gonna start the day with something very tasty. I wanted to make a kind of blended overnight oats, but I wanted to do it peanut butter jelly style so i was thinking like layers of like raspberry chia jam with like some pb2 in there and like blended oats and i thought it could be like a fun almost like a pudding to take on the go because we've got to take abe to his activity this morning anyway um let's go and do that i didn't manage to do any working out whilst I was away, which feels really weird because you guys know I'm really working on building some muscle. But yeah, there was a really tiny gym at Centre Parks, which basically had two bits of machinery and no free weights at all. And I was like, oh God, I was expecting an amazing gym. So I haven't done any working out. I kind of just took it as a bit of time to myself in every single way. So anyway, I'm feeling very well rested and ready to get back to it today. Okay, let's go into the kitchen and make some food, shall we? I did obviously keep it whole foodsy plant-based whilst I was away, of course, and I ended up, well, I decided to make all the dinners for my entire um, family, all my in-laws, um, and they ate it and they really, really loved it. They were raving about my healthy hot chocolate and they said that the hot chocolate from Centre Parks was rubbish in comparison to mine. And so I was making hot chocolates for everyone every single night. I made them all sushi and we did a massive chili, loads and loads of pasta, and then we had a barbecue night. So it was really fab and they ate loads of good vegan stuff. They're not vegan, my in-laws, but yeah, it was really, really fun and I ate loads of good food. Okay, we've got to get going. I've got a knock from the babies, let's go. You dawa! Romy had a lovely time. And Abe had a lovely time. Abe's got the braids. Abe, let's see your braids. Let's see what they're like. Oh, yes, they're looking beautiful, sweet pea. Right, let's go and make some stuff. Okay, so we're going to do some blended overnight, uh, well, not overnight, just blended oats. Um, unfortunate thing is I don't have any ripe bananas, uh, but we're going to use banana anyway, and I may have to sweeten it with some other stuff. Okay, that is the banana I've got. Okay, so we're going in with one preferably ripe banana. Oh God, there we go. One cup of oats. Bum, 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 bum. Ba -da 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 -bum. Okay, I'm gonna go with in with about, I'm gonna start with half a cup of plant milk and then see if I need any more. Or should I do a full cup? I'm really not sure. No, I'm gonna go in with three quarters of a cup of plant milk. 
and then we'll see if we need more. The recipe for this is in my meal plan, my second meal plan, I think. Um, but I don't have the energy to go and have a look at it, to be honest. I've got a tablespoon of chia. So I've just defrosted some chickpeas from the freezer. I'm so glad that I made some more for myself before we left to go on holiday. Right, Romy, you can't have these chickpeas, baby girl. Okay, so I'm going in with half a cup of chickpeas. Beans are just fantastic for your health and for weight loss. They are so, so satisfying, packed with fiber, packed with protein. So you guys know I try to squeeze beans into as many places as possible. You can put them into breakfast, you can put them into porridge, you can put them into oats, you can put them into any any meal basically. And I try and do that and I try and show you creative ways of including loads and loads of beans, specifically chickpeas. You guys don't have porridge, that's the chickpeas in your porridge. No, I know. I should... Avocado toast. You could put it on avocado toast. You could mash it in with the avocado. That would be great, wouldn't it? I know. Okay, then because my bananas are totally rubbish, I'm gonna go in with some dates. I'd probably put dates in anyway. I'm gonna go with two nice medules. I will give you some dates, Rob, let's hold on. Okay, then for the peanut butteriness, I'm gonna go in with some PB2 powder. Obviously, you could make this one chocolatey or any kind of flavor. You could do tropical if you want. I'm probably gonna, that's probably like two tablespoons worth. And I just love mine with some cinnamon, so I'm just gonna add a bit of cinnamon in there, maybe like a teaspoon, delicious. Okay, and you can also do a nice splash of vanilla, and then I think that is everything. There we go. Okay, if I haven't mentioned today, obviously we've just come back from our holidays, so we need to do full meal plan, full grocery shopping thingy, and just get ourselves totally prepared for the week ahead. So I'll show you guys how I do that as a busy mum on the go. Okay, so let's blend this baby up. Okay, so this is the blended kind of situation we've got going on, basically just like pancake batter, really. But you get to eat pancake batter. I don't know if you ever sneak licks of the pancake batter. I always do. So um, this is lovely. Mm. I love pancake. I know you do. Mm -hmm. that so this is a great way to mix up your breakfast in the morning if you're kind of just stuck with having porridge all the time. Sorry. Um, you could do this in advance, make it for the week, different flavors. It's a pretty good option. Anyway. Okay, so then we're gonna layer this baby up. So I've got some of the blended oats on the bottom. I've just defrosted some raspberries. I did it without the chia because I put chia in the blended oats. Um, and you could also do some maple syrup in here. I've just kind of kept it plain. And then keep going. So it looks all beautiful. Then we're just going to top it with some PB2. And there we go. Breakfast is served. Hey guys, so Abe's been at his activity for a while. We just took a little walk to Starbucks because it's so, so cold. And I had a nice peppermint tea. But now I'm back and I'm just having my little little snacky snack and honestly it's really really good it's like it's got such good such good like puddingy kind of texture it's a great way to eat oats and i think i might try and have this kind of more often and it's obviously a lovely way to squeeze in chickpeas romy's been snaffling some as well but yeah really really nice i did also bring myself although i've been eating the um, blended oats first i put myself a little um, 50 50 plate style snacky platter if I can get into it which is a couple of apples some cucumber and some grapes so actually I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to nibble on this for a bit um but yeah we are going to be going shopping we're going to be going to three different places Morrison's our Indian shop and then our local farm shop because I've got a lot of stuff to get I've got a lot of stuff to make I've got a full jam-packed week with loads of Indian recipe testing and I'm very excited about it Hey guys, so we have been to uh, the Indian shop and we also went to Morrison's as well. And we've got a ton, a ton of food. I want to show you what, got, what we've got. I spread it out in trying to make some kind of order, but it just looks mental. And also the kitchen is messy. But yeah, I really want to show you how many fruits and veggies I'm going to be squeezing into this week's worth of eating. When you want to eat for maximum weight loss and for health, you've got to prioritize buying a ton of non-starchy veggies and fruits and starches and all of those things that you want to eat. Because if you don't have them in your house, you obviously can't eat them. So anyway, let's get into this and let me show you what I've got. Okay, so I'm just going to start on the fruity section. So we've got some red grapes. We've got some green grapes. 
We are absolutely crazy for grapes at the moment. Romy loves blueberries, so those are for specifically for Romy. I am loving the apples at the moment, and so is Abe. So we've got a couple of apples. We found these lovely sweet clems oh, at Morrison's, and we had them whilst we were away on holiday. And oh my God, they're the sweetest things ever. We just devoured them. So we've got some more of those. Obviously, some lemons for the Indian cookbook, some persimmons as well. Um, then I've really been craving salad-y stuff, and I love just shoving things into romaine hearts. Um, into romaine lettuce so i've got a couple of bags of that we've got some salad because abe and james love this baby leaf salad mix um, and abe refuses to have the romaine lettuce in his uh, sandwiches and stuff so that's a good one uh, we're going to be doing loads of indian um cooking so we're going to be having lots of spinach going on in there and then we're doing something spinach related for lunch as well obviously i've got a ton of broccoli i managed to find loose broccoli in morrison's for once so i don't have to buy the plastic stuff so that was really cool um I then got some mushrooms. I've got some sugar snap peas, which are one of my favourite snacks at the moment. Um, you can just grab a bag and take them anywhere in the car. But they're also fantastic for just snacking on whilst you're making dinner, like a little pre-loading session. So I love those. Um, I got these gigantic looking Brussels sprouts because I thought I could do them balsamic vinegar and garlic style, like in a pan and get them nice and crispy i thought that would be super yum so two of those i've got some cabbage i've got some courgettes and i'm going to use these courgettes right now to make myself a massive courgette soup because i have not had that in ages not at all since we've been away because there was no blender where we were um obviously we've got a ton of onion and garlic and coriander oh well and loads and loads and actually a ridiculous amount of tomatoes this is all for the indian related stuff so um obviously those are like the prime kind of flavors that we need for <clears throat> for our indian cooking We've also got some of these amazing sweet potatoes, which Abe and I go absolutely crazy for. These, I think, I think they're Hannah Yams, but again, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, yeah, we've got some little green chilies. You think so, do you, Abe? My little special assistant here. So we've got a tin of coconut milk for um, Indian stuff. And we also found this amazing squeezy tahini, which I've never seen, but it must be a super, super runny one. I thought it'd be really handy just to be able to like squeeze it in there. Dressings and all, all sorts of things. Got a couple of tins of black eyed beans. I don't know where my other one is. Oh, yes, there it is. Um, just for the curry that we're going to be having tonight. I've got some tins of tomatoes. And I've also got, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And we've also got some um, red kidney beans as well, which is going to be for some really cool, um, like, kebab. Like, it's, it's, it's called a kebab in Indian, but it's actually kind of like a little kofta thing. So we're going to be doing some kidney, uh, red kidney kebabs later. Got some garam masala. Um, also got some milk. So I've got two soy milks for myself. James is trying his luck out with some cheaper versions of oat milk because Oatly Barista is quite, can be quite expensive. So he's trying a couple of those out. We've also got some pickles because I've actually realised... During the last week, I was snacking on pickles as a great little snack, and I really, really enjoyed it. We've got three things of yogurt, which seems excessive, but we're going to be doing some chickpea naans today, which use yogurt um, and some tofu tikka, and then also just other Indian-related things. We're going to need lots of yogurt. Uh, same with the tofu. It was on offer, so we went a little bit crazy, and I was thinking about freezing some as well because I wanted to do like a chickeny kind of texture thing. Um, but yes, also just for Indian uh, tofu tikkas, butter tofu, all of those kinds of things. We needed a lot of tofu, so that is that section. Then if we move on to this very, very messy, I don't even know what happened here section. So all of that fruit over there only lasts a couple of days. So then we need loads of frozen stuff to keep us going. So Abe, what fruit have we got? Mango, blueberries, pineapple, mixed berries, blackberries, strawberries, and garlic, green corn, green beans, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, rice. Well done. We've got a massive thing of brown basmati rice from the Indian shop, which I was very happy yeah. to find because uh, I'm trying to get in some more brown rice into our lives. Um, and always buying bulk is just so, so handy. If you eat something on a regular basis, make sure you buy bulk. Oh, and obviously, I you know didn't want to lay these out. I just put them straight in here. But basically, we bought a ton, a ton of bananas because I have no frozen bananas, no fresh bananas. So we needed a lot of bananas for ice cream and just other purposes. Anyway, that is everything that we have got. I think in total it came to about £150 altogether, which I don't think is too bad considering I'm also using it to write my Indian cookbook, like I said. Uh, so anyway, now I'm going to task my husband with putting all of this lovely stuff away. Um, and we're going to get cracking with making some lunch. And then at some point I'm going to go to the gym. Um, but yes, I'll kind of uh, keep you updated once this kitchen looks a little bit better. So we haven't really packed everything up yet, but Abe and I have been snacking on some yummy grapes because we can't help ourselves. They're just so darn delicious. When you're buying fruit and veggies, make sure you buy the ones you love and the ones you get excited about. You don't have to eat, you know, 
something specific just because somebody else is eating it. Eat the stuff that you love to eat. So Abe has requested a fruity platter for lunch, which I love. Um, <laughs> kids really do love fruit. If you cut out the junk from their lives, fruit is just like so exciting because it's the sweet stuff, isn't it? So I'm going to make Abe a massive fruity platter, which I also might share. But if we're talking about maximum weight loss, the key <laughs> is to squeeze as many non-starchy vegetables into your life as humanly possible. Low calorie density is the key. And one of the things that's even more low calorie density than just veggies is soups. Soups are fantastic. They are high volume, high fiber, and super can be really, really satisfying and filling, but there's basically nothing in there. And it's all good stuff. So I'm gonna make myself a massive courgette soup, like and I said. this is even better than soup. What is, baby? Fruit and vegetables. <laughs> you. Are so cute, Abe. You know what's even better than soup? What? Pie. Pa <laughs> no. Everyone has their own version. So into my soup, I've got four courgettes. I'm going in with one little red onion. And I've also got one little potato. I'm going to do loads of water and some bouillon and whack it on to cook with a little garlic and it'll be done. Tommy is still asleep and Abe's eating his food. It's the perfect time for me to go to the gym. Um, but it's like half two and I'm not like super, super, super hungry but I feel like I need to have some food before I go to the gym. Otherwise, it might not be a good session in case I get hungry in the next hour or so. So that's a bit of a, like a weird kind of pickle situation. So I'll tell you what my thought process is. So I went hunting in there, and I just want something light and snacky. So I found some rice cakes, and then I was trying to figure out something starchy to put on top of the rice cakes, which I have nothing actually cooked up at the moment. So I need to sort that out. I need to get loads of starches kind of on the go, um, just for general snacking just goes to show how easy it is to throw a meal together when you've already cooked up your starch but if you don't have any starch it's darn tricky and it's going to take at least what like at least 20 minutes to kind of make sure you've got like a meal together so but but but, but having said that i did find myself some chickpeas so uh, what i thought i could do and i've also got a lovely bowl of tomatoes here to use i thought i would mash up some chickpeas with some lemon juice and some black salt with a tomato and just kind of like have it on rice cakes a nice little quick simple snack um that won't fill me up too much so that when I get home, I can have a nice meal and I'll still be ready for it. But it's gonna keep me going whilst I'm in the gym. Um, I, I could have done like a splendid silken tofu, sweet something or other. Yeah, but I'm kind of sweeted out after breakfast. It was really nice, but yeah, I'm not in the mood for any more sweet stuff. So this is my savory option. Let's quickly pop it together. Okay, hopefully this is gonna be a very quick one to throw together and to eat. Okay, so I'm not megaly hungry, so I'm just gonna do like, mm, probably the equivalent of like half a cup of chickpeas, quick little mash. If I had some silken tofu mayo, I'd probably add that in, but I don't, so that's all right. Okay, some lemon juice. I've actually got some black salt, but you can obviously go for garlic salt if you don't have any slash don't want any. Okay, bung a tomato in. Gonna eat it here and now because I just want to get going as fast as possible. Like this is the prime example of having food for fuel purposes and not just for like, because you fancy eating some food purposes. That's actually super yum. So I'm just here at my local gym, finished my snack and I was just realizing how nervous I am about going back to the gym again. For some reason it sounds so silly, I've only missed like five days, yet I feel completely thrown off and I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know which workout to do, um, so it's just amazing how even just taking a small piece of time out of your normal routine can just like throw you off completely. So if you're wanting to build some solid habits, try and do, try and build habits that you can do on a every single day basis. The more often you do something, the easier it is to build it up as a habit. Anyway, I am obviously able to go to the gym on a regular basis. It was just it was just a thought I was having about, it was just so weird that I'm nervous to go to the gym. Anyway, I'm gonna go and do a gym session, so let's go for it. So I've finished my workout. I'm the only one in the gym, which is always lovely. It's so nice having just a private gym to yourself. But well, obviously I was really kind of nervous about my workout, going back into it. It was such a good workout. It just goes to show that you, even if you don't think you can do something or if you're nervous to try it, do it anyway. And chances are it's gonna be 
easier than you expect and maybe even nice. You might even like it anyway. I absolutely love that workout. It was so good. I tell you what, on this bench press, on this leg press, I literally press the whole thing. I go right down to the bottom. I can do, I don't even know how many kilos that is, but my legs are feeling super, super strong. And it's amazing. Anyway, I'm gonna head home. Oh, I'm knackered, my legs are jelly. And let's go make some dinner, because now I'm hungry. Oh yeah, so I'll give you a little peek around my gym in case you wanna see. It's not massive. There's this one little room here. There's some cardio equipment here. And then there's this tiny room back here just a few little a few little bits in it um and yeah then that's it really so it's a very small and cute little gym you don't have to have a massive fancy fancy gym in order to get a good workout in yeah this is just like a general classes space but yeah okie dokie i am home and i'm hungry and i've just heated up the soup again um i thought i'd just have a nice big bowl of that whilst i am making dinner I know you see me make this soup a lot and I apologise if it's boring, but honestly, it really just highlights. <laughs> Hopefully it can highlight and show you that repetition is the key to health and maximum more weight loss. If you want to put your weight loss on autopilot, you don't want to have to think about it every single day, then repeat yourself, have the same breakfast, have the same lunch, slightly mix up your dinners, but have the same snacks and just eat them again and again and again. That way you don't even think about it and it'll be effortless. Um, but anyway, obviously, I think it's also important to mix it up and have some fun with food, but um, that's because I love creating food and love getting busy in the kitchen. If you are not like that, then repetition is your best friend. But this soup is my repetition. So whilst we were on holiday, Abe painted and decorated this beautiful, beautiful bowl, but not only is it absolutely gorgeous, I thought I would also take the opportunity and use it because it's a massive, massive bowl, perfect for soups. So thanks, Abe. It could be a good motto. If you don't know what to eat, you could just have a big bowl of repetition, which sounds like a strange thing. However, have, have oats, have soup, have your favorite, whatever it is, your medley, of broccoli and potatoes, go always go back to that repetition. It is vital. Everyone's feeling very Christmassy in our house because we've just spent a week pretending that it's Christmas and there's snow everywhere and they met Santa and everything. Would you like some soup? Romy just saw me eating some soup and then got so excited about it. So I've just got her a little soup cooling down, but it is brilliant when you eat this way, the whole family sees you. And if you make yummy noises, they'll also want to eat it as well. Oh. Hot. Oh my God, I've missed this soup so much. It's amazing how you can miss a courgette soup. Are you gonna help me make some dinner? Yeah. Okay, show mommy. Oh, what do you think? <laughs> okay, so I've done a full meal plan for the whole week. And, and it starts tonight. So tonight we're having tofu tikka, sag aloo, chickpea naan, and some kebabs. It's ambitious considering it's nearly five o'clock. <laughs> And if you're a normal human who's not writing an Indian cookbook, you obviously can keep dinners very simple. I, on the other hand, I've got stuff to attend to. Um, so let's let's get cracking, shall we? I think we're gonna start with the kebabs because that's the unknown for me. Okay, so we're gonna start with our tofu tiki. So we've got tofu and we've got yogurt. This is a fantastic high protein one for after the gym as well, so that's perfect. Okay, so we're just gonna chop it into little cubes. Just give some to me. Okay, you want them in even kind of cubey pieces. Then we'll make our marinade. Okay, so I've got a cup of soya yogurt in here. Plain, make sure it's not sweetened, otherwise that's just gonna taste all kind of funky. Then we're gonna add a few little special things into here. I've got a teaspoon of cumin. I've got a teaspoon of coriander. Okay, I've done half a teaspoon of turmeric and we're gonna go in with some salt and pepper if you fancy it. And if you have it, if you can find it, go for it. I don't, so I'm gonna give this a little mixy. Okay, so into here, we're gonna add our tofu and we're gonna let it sit and marinate for a little while while we're preparing some of the other stuff. For our kebabs, I have got some kidney beans and we're gonna go in with two cups of kidney beans. I'm just gonna pulse this loosely, but we don't want it like a full mush, we just wanna give it a nice little bit of, a bit of texture. When it's kind of like this, we're gonna transfer it into a little bowl. 
Okay, so to these kidney beans, I've added one small chopped onion, three cloves of garlic, a thumb of ginger, cumin, coriander, and garam masala powder. I'm just gonna give that a nice mix before we add in some chickpea flour. You could use oat flour as well to like really hold it together. Okay, half a cup of chickpea flour going in. You've got your nani. Oh, good girl. I think we're gonna need hands for this one. Oh God, oh God, covered in chickpea flour, cracking. We've established this is a messy meal, but hopefully the tastiness will make it worth it. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna shape this into little kind of mini rounds and we're gonna stick it in the air fryer for about 15 to 20 minutes, flipping halfway through until it's nice and crispy. Fingers crossed, let's see how they get on. Okay, so for our tofu, I'm just gonna whack it on this pan and we're gonna Fry it till it's nice and golden brown. Make sure all of the tofu pieces are nicely separated. There we go. I kind of skipped ahead without showing you some of the finer details, but I've decided to make a black eyed bean kind of curry and I've got everything toasting up, ready to rumble. I just need to add the black eyed beans in, but it's been very crazy. Uh, so I haven't been able to show you, but I did want to show you how this tofu came out. It is super nice, super crispy. Well, not crispy, but it's just like got a charred. Mm. Oh my God, so good. And Abe just said, it's the best thing he's ever tasted. So I'll no, take it. Had not even tasted. Oh, the best thing you've ever had. Mm, success. This one. And these are our little kebabs, kind of like a mini little, a mini burger. Let's try them out, shall we? Mm. Very Mama. yummy. Mm. Do you want to try some of this ones? This is obviously meant to be served with like a chutney for like dipping purposes. Okay, let me show you how you plate this baby up. I cooked up a whole head of broccoli. Okay, so this is the black eyed bean curry that I've just added to some spinach in. Very, very simple to throw together. It will be in my Indian cookbook at some point. Sorry, I couldn't show it to you now. Anyway, I'm just gonna whack that in. And then I've got my, um, got my little, um, kebabs got a little bit of tofu because the kids wanted most of it i've got a tomato and also i forgot i haven't actually squeezed in any of the rice okay so going in with also like a cup of rice as well there we go okay so as you can see we've kind of got our 50 50 plate it's all mismatched in there but we've got rice beans and then we've got a ton of non-starchy veggies hiding underneath here so we've got loads and loads of goodness and i'm so excited to eat it mm. Mm. oh yes 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 and I've also put some of the leftover yogurty sauce from the tofu on top of these little babies. I'm gonna go eat this with my babies and then get them off to sleep because they're knackered. <laughs>